Hey guys, it's uh, Little Fruit Nursery. It's Lynn again. I'm here with baby Noah. And you guys probably saw I already changed him again into another outfit. Um, I had wanted to try that super cute tan sleeper on him, but it was sort of a thicker material. And it, you know, when I tried to put it over his hands, it seemed to sort of catch on the silicone and kind of have rub and have some friction. So I decided against putting him in that outfit. Um, and I instead put on this really cute um, sleeper from Absorba. And I don't know if you guys can see this. It says, it's like a little bunny. It says, I am, and the choices are little, very, two, and then it says cute. And the box two is Chet. So like, I am too cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, I, I just really, really, um, you know, loved, um, I, I just, because he's a sleeping baby, I just think he looks really realistic, especially in a sleeper. Um, so I want, what I wanted to do here on camera is actually check something behind his right ear because Diana Reed had mentioned and you know, her, one of her comments that behind the ear, you can see the addition number. Um, oh, that's his left ear. Oops. So I'm going to see. Hold on. <laughs> this is a little tricky. I, uh, I'm going to just kind of move him around to see. Oh, yeah, it does say the number five. That is so cool. Wow. I like totally. Um, that is really, really awesome. How, what, a, what a cool, uh, what a cool thing. It's like, oh, it's, it's so like not noticeable. Um, but yeah, like just right behind here, it just says really, really small here, like the number five. Um, Anyway, I'm um, yeah really really happy to have this guy home. It's been kind of a, it's been sort of a tough uh, tough few days here. I'm just going through some personal things on on the family front, some conflict with um, a close relative, and it's just really been wearing and draining. So I haven't um, really gotten to play with my babies quite as much. Um, I mean, I've just been, it's just been very consuming, so I won't get into all those details, but yeah, but I just wanted to show this guy, and, and again, just to express, I feel so incredibly lucky, you know, to have him home, and he's just, he's just amazing, just gorgeous, um, and I just can't get, I, I can't get over how beautiful, like, his hair is, he, and I, um, yeah, and it was just so funny how my husband was, like, literally, like I carried him out and <laughs> he just could not like believe the realism. He, he was like, whoa, that really looks like a real baby. So definitely kind of freaked him out a little bit. Um, and he's definitely somebody who I think has become a little bit desensitized to, to these babies. But um, anyway, yeah, I just thought I would show him, um, show him to you guys. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely... It's definitely um, so nice to have him home, and, and and as I mentioned before, I'm definitely dolly broke, so no more new babies for me for a while, except for ones that I make. Um, I need to let my bank account recover a bit. <laughs> so, but yeah, I um, it's just it's just been so nice having him here. Um, I don't really have a specific topic to chat about today, but just um, just just to you know, I think you know when when you're sad and you know like going through a hard time it's just really nice to have um it's just really nice to have um these babies and you know they're definitely a comfort and i oh, just to hold them and just to feel like at least you know like something something good is like right you know is right in the world you know when you're holding one of these babies <laughs> I just want to show him here in his cute little sleeper and maybe I'll take the camera off the tripod so I can just show some of the details and let's see if I can do this here my apologies there he is hi Noah <laughs> oh my goodness it's and even just here on camera it's like it just amazes me and he's he's cloth body so it's so nice he's got the flexibility to turn his neck to the side and I think when babies are sleeping especially it looks so realistic to have him to the side and so there he is just kind of hanging out 
And then here are like his little, the details on his little hands. I think I probably already showed you guys this before, but oh, okay. So since he's on his side, let me see if I can do a close up and show you guys the addition number right there. Can you see that? It says number five. That's so cool. And I would like probably have never noticed it because I'm not, I'm not actually a extraordinarily detail oriented person, but you know, Diana Reed pointed this out because she, she's expecting her third Gabigail to come home, which is like amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. And I really, really hope that Claire makes more of these no frills budget babies in the future. I really, really hope because, um, it's just, you know, the, you know, as we talked about previously in other videos, the prices of silicones have just gone so sky high, um, that it can be like really, really discouraging, um, that we, you know, so hard to afford these babies. Okay. So while I, um, while I have him here, I'm going to actually see if I can <laughs> do something might be a little challenging to do one-handed. Um, I'm going to actually bring Miss Olivia here to hang out next to him. Here they are. <laughs> and actually, they look really, really cute together. Um, but just so you can see the size comparison, like, oh my gosh, like, check this out. He, uh, so Noah is a little bit higher up on the pillow, but if you look, like, down, like, wow, look how much longer he is. Like, so size wise, Olivia is really like a true, um, sorry guys, I'm going to step over because I have a, like the cutest like accessory I want to put with them. <laughs> Olivia is really a size newborn slash zero to three and Noah is a true like six month size baby. Um, but look at this. <laughs> I had to show you guys. Um, but yeah, they're both wearing rabbits, which is like really fun. Um, it's too bad there's no like theme Thursday with rabbits. Um, cause look like that would be just ridiculously cute. So yeah, I wanted to, <laughs> just thought it'd be fun to bring her and show you guys. And, uh, yeah, my daughter is still like just so absolutely over the moon in love with baby Olivia. She is always coming over, coming into the room and she wants to give her kisses and she'll say like, oh, my sweetie. And like, you know, let, let me give you a kiss. Let me give you a hug. And then she'll like give her like toys and it's just really sweet. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the two of them together. Just so ridiculously cute. <laughs> and um, Olivia is wearing, I'll show you guys her dress. Let me move. Um, let me let Noah hold Mr. Peter Rabbit there. She's wearing, um, this is from the Peter Rabbit line at Gymboree. I know a lot of, um, a lot of you mommies out there fell in love with this line of baby clothes. And just to show you guys like, like the back, it's a very bare back. So you really have to have a, it really looks best on a full body silicone baby. Um, sometimes when the back is bare, like I've mentioned in past videos, I'll put a white onesie underneath, but I, um, I didn't do it in this case because, um, it just, I just didn't think it would look that good because it's already, there's already like a white ruffle detail here. I'm sorry the dress is a little bit wrinkled guys. Um, this dress I did machine wash, um, before I, uh, you know, before I kind of heard about how most mommies don't wash the clothes just to keep them looking completely brand new, which makes a lot of sense. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys the two of them together because it's, it's kind of fun. And it's interesting because I thought that um, Noah's head would be a lot bigger, you know, given his size. But, you know, proportionally speaking, your heads look similar in size. His head is a little bit bigger. It is a little bit bigger, but they look proportionally kind of similar. But but man, these are two dream babies right here. Um, they really are. And you know, come to think of it, maybe there is one interesting tag going around. Um, I think with Tori's Reborn Babies is the one who started it. And then I, I saw it on Nicole's Little Ones, her channel. Um, so maybe I'll talk about that tag actually, come to think of it. And I didn't really prepare anything, so I'll just sort of wing it. But um, the topic of that tag was how um 
you know, what, what makes a baby a forever baby? And then also, um, you know, do you dream about your reborn? So I'll answer the second one first, cause that's kind of a quick answer. So do I dream about my reborns? No. <laughs> and I think it, I, it might also just be a function of like, I don't dream or I don't remember my dreams very much in general. Um, I don't tend to have like really vivid dreams. So, um, so that's probably part of it. And, um, yeah, so I have not dreamed about my, my babies, which is interesting. The other part of the tag was what makes a baby a forever baby? And I agree with Nicole that like, wow, forever baby, forever is such a big, big word. Um, and I think when I buy all my babies, I like to think of them all as forever babies, but I, but I know that reality is, you know, that that's probably not, you know, that may not be the case. You know, there, there may be come a time when I may feel it's the time, it's time to let a certain baby go out of my collection. So so I think for me, the way that I think about, um, the way that I think about that is like, like definitely Olivia and, you know, my Isla and Aria, who are the portrait babies of my daughter, those babies for sure, I could like never, never imagine ever, ever letting go of like period. Um, I, I don't, I don't, you know, and, and I think I have a lot of babies in my collection that I absolutely adore and couldn't imagine letting them go. But, um, but I don't want to say never just because it's, um, yeah, that's just such a long time <laughs> to commit to. So I definitely feel like if it's a portrait baby, there's just something like incredibly special about that beyond, you know, even if like, you know, even if, you know, she, you know, the, um, and I think, I think my, uh, Andrea Artella babies are absolutely amazing. Um, you know, so, uh, but you know, if, you know, even, you know, if we're, and there's probably just different schools of thought on this, but you know, there's some people who might prefer a Claire or a Romy. Um, I love, I love Andrea's work. Absolutely. Um, which is why I've approached her about the portrait babies. Um, and she's done a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Like, so regardless of like, I don't think it has to necessarily do with like the quality of the doll. Um, but I think it's more about the bond that you have with that baby. And there may be a baby in your collection that is not as expensive, but you just couldn't imagine parting with, you know, ever for whatever reason. And, and I think one baby that I don't think I would ever let go of She's not actually my baby, so it's probably not my decision anyway, but it would be the very, very first reborn I painted, Avery. And she is a boo -boo, major boo-boo baby. <laughs> her creases came out too dark. She's like, I went way too heavy on the paint with her undertones. So my daughter, when she first saw her, called her her rainbow baby. So, um, and I don't personally, I'm not like attached to her really as, you know, um, at all. And it's my very first one that I painted, but because it's the first reborn I painted, I think I will always keep her for that reason. Just as I grow and improve as an artist, you know, I can always, I can always look back and see how far I've come, you know, in, in my artistry. But yeah, I can definitely say that, you know, Olivia, Isla and Aria are definitely forever babies. Um, and I probably should have included, like grabbed, um, Isla and Aria, you know, for this, um, you know, for this tag, um, just to kind of showcase that. But, um, but yeah, I, right now, how I feel about Noah, I can't imagine letting this baby go. And I think part of it is also, you know, there's a special baby in your collection that you truly love. Um, and just given how the prices of these babies are going up, you, it may not be so easy to replace that baby down the road. So that is just another consideration. Um, that I think about, you know, when it comes to these babies, um, just, just with the pricing and the costs and how that's changing over time. But, but yeah, I, um, yeah, I'm definitely think, I think it's a great tag and it's definitely interesting to hear different people's responses. Um, and I'd say in terms of my reborns, like I definitely feel that way about Clara. Um, she, I, I just feel like particularly bonded to her. Like I just couldn't imagine letting her go. And of my bigger babies, um, I think Emily is, really my favorite out of the, you know, kind of the bigger babies, you know, my two Saskia's, uh, so Emily, Jenna, Connor, and Evelyn. Um, yeah, so it's, but yeah, it's, it's so hard to say. That's a really wonderful question. And, um, 
So anyway, sorry to ramble, guys, and sorry for last minute deciding to answer a tag because I kind of felt like <laughs> I didn't have much to talk about besides just showing you guys these two babies in their super cute outfits. So yeah, and uh, yeah, so I thought I would go ahead and just answer that tag. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care.